I'm joined today by Steve Roberts, who's the second Grand Principal of the Royal Arch um, in Lincolnshire. Thanks for joining me today. My pleasure, Chris. My pleasure. Why do you think some lodges are more successful than others in encouraging Master Masons into the Royal Arch? Talk to me. I, I think it's just engaging with them, really. Um, when I first joined, I, you have to be a master mason for at least a month before you can join chapter. And when I joined, well, I think I was quite lucky, really, because I joined two months after I was raised in, as a master mason. Um, and it was purely, I suppose, down to my, my proposal at the time. We didn't have mentors then, uh, mid-90s. And uh, he was a, a really good close family friend, a work, a work colleague of my wife. So I'd known Les for years. And he, he just encouraged me, um, you know, that it was a, an obvious step to take. Uh, there has, I've got to say, been, I think, some negativity over the years about chapter. That it is probably too deep or... Uh, and I, don't, I never found it the case. Uh, OK, I mean... As a master mason myself, there are, uh, if the technique is get a mature, uh, a couple of old mature members, mature members, sorry, uh, to, to corner you in a corner and say, when are you going to join one, one arch? I tell you what, that is an absolutely cracking membership strategy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that is not the technique. No, no. I think, I think it's softly, softly, really. Personally, and, and I think the hard sell nowadays doesn't work. What well, I find it interesting is 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 that uh, the chap in our lodge is not very, is not very good at selling, yet getting people to buy, he's very good at. Okay. And I and I think there is a subtle difference, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. I mean, are are the numbers between different lodges vastly different? I know Lincolnshire does particularly well. Don't, don't well, they? Well. <laughs> If I can go for a slight tangent, really. One thing that which I, I found quite staggering, really, was, 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 was a conversation I had with our present most Grand Superintendent, with his predecessor, I think it was, and when he mentioned that there was less than 50% of Master Masons in Lincolnshire who were Chapter Masons, and I was astounded by that. But having said that, I then found out that Lincolnshire was probably in the top five of, of, um, of percentages. So we're actually up there um, with, with the best of them, with less than 50% of our Master Masons being chapter. Coming back to the original question, though, what do certain lodges do differently that make them more successful? Because you're not telling me that everyone's stuck on 50%. Or no, right. there are some, I know, I know of, of several provinces which are down to 20%. No, 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 I'm talking more. Sorry. No, it's all right. I was talking more within Lincolnshire, not mentioning names <sighs> at all, but there must be lodges that have a higher proportionality of getting master I think we're in. quite standard. I think we're quite, quite consistent across Lincolnshire, really. Um, some, there are some mostly, and I think it depends on, on, on how many lodges you've got in your centre as well. In Sleaford, we've got four lodges and two chapters. Um, but it really doesn't matter how many lodges there are, it's if you bring in ten members as a centre, how many of them mm -hmm. are going to go across? It doesn't matter how many numbers there are. Um, but again, get back to the original question, what are the good ones doing? I think they're engaging with, with the people. With the brethren when they when what does, in the what does that look like? Uh, it's 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 actually giving them the, the bare facts and, and saying this is the way ahead. Really, I think the brethren nowadays are more savvy about what they want. When I probably to, when I first joined, I, I think we just you went along because that's what that's what everyone did. That's what was expected. I think in fairness, a lot, a lot, a lot of the, the younger guys now are quite savvy, and so they should be. They, they, they're very busy. My, you know, I've got a, a son, mid-30s, and he's tremendously busy in, in work and family. And um, so I, th I think they, they're more savvy and they're more discerning on what, what they want okay. from, from, from... But what are the actual benefits? F from chapter? Hmm. Uh, the actual, aside from the actual ceremony, 
I, th I think I think you do take it. I mean, the the sermon itself is is quite dramatic. It's a, it's a good story. Okay, um, but that that that's your first meeting, and once you're in, yeah. What after that? It it's 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 a thought provoking degree. It, it does tend to provoke so, more thought. I mean, craft. I always thought craft. You know, it, it's it symbolises birth, life, and death. Chapter will take it. It will take you a step further, and, 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 it, and it becomes a, a bit more spiritual. I was about to say spiritual. It's a bit more spiritual. Um, and, but it's uh, not one of these schemes where you know where they say you you buy this and then oh but then you've got to buy the next one and then when you bought the next one oh but hold on a second there's another yeah. one because let's be honest there's so many companion side orders you you could be out every night yeah I am <laughs> <laughs> I am no I, I think I think it is and I I think um, the great thing about chapters now is is when I first joined um, you couldn't actually go through the chair in chapter unless you'd been through the chair in craft. That changed just after I joined. Um, and, and I think that with, with chapter now is, is and I hope, I hope certainly my craft logic is, I hope that other chapters now are engaging by giving the, the newer, younger brethren, if you like, or the, the work so, to do on the floor. So it's more spiritual. Yeah. It makes you think, mm. Very much so. Okay. And this thing I keep hearing about, it completes the Masonic journey. Mm, and it certainly does. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the journey, for me, the journey starts when you're initiated. And there's this, there's this bus phrase, which we've had for 300 years, that it is the completion of, of your journey through Antium Masonry. Um, and, and it's an indissoluble link to, to, chap, uh, to, to the craft. And, you know, after 300 years, they, they're still true. They are. And the, once you can join a, you know, companion orders, you, it's not a case of, oh, but if you want more, come back and... The companion orders do enhance, I, I believe, the companion orders. There are several companion orders which do enhance the journey as well. I mean, uh, the chapter story takes place 500 years after the death of Hiram Abith. Um, there's a massive gap there. And it, it's... it's, it's I don't know if I'm allowed to, yeah, I can. The story is about the Jews returning from their Babylonian captivity and rebuilding the second temple and they make a discovery. And, that's, and, and that discovery is, is where a lot of the spirituality comes from. And it's a, a very dramatic, it is a dramatic storyline and it's, it's, it's... And when do you think is, let's just say I am a master mason and you've, you've sold the sizzle well, I want to buy the sizzle, as opposed to salt the sausage, <laughs> of the spirituality and c the completion is... Oh, no, I, think, I think it does actually as well. You know, there is a, a great deal of... I was going to say more fellowship. There is a, 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 a more closer fellowship. A deeper chapter. Yes, yes, that's good. Are they more yeah. intimate affairs? Are they more intimate... Yes, I think because most chapters are reasonably re relatively small. Um, I mean, we have brethren in, in our lodges and we have companions. We are companions in, in Royal Arch. And I think that does kind of elevate that uh, fellowship just a little bit more. And you, you get the companion. extra jewel as well. Uh, you look very pretty. And you get your sash. And yes, yes. It's a very colourful, actually. It is a colourful sash and, and the regalia is colourful. Um, what, should, uh, what should any uh, Master Mason watching this do if they if they want to find out more about becoming a, a member of chapter. The obvious thing is that most lo well every lodge has a chapter representative, somebody who is a master mason, usually a past master, and he wears a little badge there, and you can go and talk to your chapter representative. Um, they anybody in chapter wears a chapter jewel or should wear a chapter jewel, which is if you've not been through the chair, it's a white ribbon. If you've been through the chair, it's it's a red ribbon. Um, and any one of those would, would point you in the right direction or point you in the direction of the chapter representative who would then be able to give you more more detail about what. And if a centre has more than two chapters or more than one, sorry? I think that's down to preference, really. What, I mean, we've got two. In, we got, I'm in Shire Lodge and we have Shire Chapter, but I am actually was taken into Hope Chapter. 
which is affiliated originally to, to St Bottles. So I think it's just a case of you propose. In my case, it was my proposal was already meant my hope, so he took me in there. We, they do have the Talking Heads um, uh, programme where uh, I actually went to one the other week at, at Shakespeare, uh, Eccles Lodge in, in, in Spilsby. I hadn't seen it for a few years and I went just to, to see it to refresh it. And, you know, the Lodge Secretary, if you haven't got a candidate, um, you can ask your Lodge Secretaries to, to get the Talking Heads team down. It's, there's three of them. Um, one is the narrator and the other two, it's, it's like a little play, really, introducing chapter. One is a, an older, more established past master. The other one is a new master mason and they meet in a changing room. In, in the robing room and, and they talk about chapter and I was, I thought it was a super presentation and, and, and yeah they can, they can learn from it through that way but there, and Solomon, Solomon is, is another great way of doing it I, I was on Solomon fairly recently and there's a whole section on welcome to the Royal Arch oh. um, with, with different little nuggets they call them um, which, which explain different things and and uh, yeah, there's, there's plenty of ways you can, but the obvious one is, is, is to go see your chapter representative or talk to somebody who has a chapter duel. Steve, thank you for your time today. It's been really insightful. Yeah. And, and I hope that everyone watching it has also found it useful as well. Well, I'm looking forward to my new appointment. It's uh, May 2023. Yeah, should be good. yeah it's, uh, I'm looking forward to that. Well, I wish you well on that. I have to say, uh, I, was, I was very surprised. I've got to say, I was surprised when the, the Grand Superintendent did call me in. It was a bit like this headmaster. I thought I was in trouble, but he, he offered me the position. And, and yeah, I'm looking forward to him and, and supporting him through the year. Well, I wish you very well. I also wish um, Mr. Ricks all the best for stepping up to first. I'm a hard act to follow. <laughs> and uh, obviously our leader is superintendent as well. So uh, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you, Chris. Thank you.